There is no reason for your child to eat everything on his plate, unless of course you want to have a fight with your child about food. Clean Plate Club is not all it was cracked up to be. Make your child your partner in nutrition. Every dinner time seems to be a struggle. A struggle between what we eat and what we can't eat. We have this power struggle going on and I just can't serve the, the one thing or the two things that everybody likes. You know, I can't serve chicken nuggets and pizza every night. I would like to know how to introduce peace into our meal times. First of all, children only need a small amount of food. No mountains of macaroni, please. Just three pieces of chicken, two pieces of broccoli, a tablespoon of pasta, and that's it. Children need to feel successful about what they eat. So let's give them the opportunity to finish what they want and feel good about it. Here's my favorite tip about the food wars. Sit down at the table and don't talk about the meal. Instead, do talk about your favorite sports team, what you did at the office, the squirrel you saw, saw climbing in a tree. Here is my number one best tip for you. It's called the default food. At your child's place, you create an extra plate of food, and on that plate sits either a peanut butter sandwich, cheese and crackers, nothing that takes any effort for you to prepare. So when he says to you, ew, I hate chicken or broccoli, you get to say very dispassionately, because remember, you don't care. Oh, you don't like it, then eat your peanut butter and move right on talking about your favorite basketball team. Great tips, Betsy, thanks. But as important as remembering what does work is figuring out what doesn't work. And top of that list is don't make food a battlefield. If dinner includes tears and punishment and bribery, then you're adding layers to a situation that's already complicated enough. Don't take it personally. It's not about you. It's demoralizing to cook an entire meal, put it on the table, and have your children sniff at it scornfully, but they're not doing it to hurt you. Don't get caught up in your own motivations. Think about why you're finding this so important. Is it because of their health issues, or is it because children should? They should eat a certain way. They should eat a variety of foods. And finally, don't worry so much. Any psychologically normal child, if food is available, will not starve. Regardless of the specifics of your food battles in your own home, there are some basic things that you should know about pediatric nutrition. First of all, variety is key. Healthy, nutritious foods that are a variety of different colors offer different minerals and vitamins in the diet. Number two, sweets. I'm a big believer in one treat a day, and I'm a bigger believer in letting your child choose it. That way, they get the control, and the idea of the sweet isn't as coveted anymore. Number three, drinks. I'm a big fan of water or milk. That's really all you need. The best piece of advice I can give you is to make your child your partner in nutrition. Explain to them, protein makes your muscles strong. Calcium helps build your bones. It makes them strong and long. If you tell children this, they will actually start to participate in eating and in the menu building. They will love it. And then the food battles really start to disappear. Still have questions about the food battle? Get up-to-date answers at parentsask.com because raising kids raises questions.